Hey guys, this is lesson 33, and let's go ahead and get started. So, the number system, number one. Okay, so look at the t table below, and which object is the highest, justify your answer. Okay, so we have, for our objects, we have airplane, submarine, and bird, and they're at an altitude of 10,000 feet, negative 500 feet, and 100 feet. Since we got to determine um, the object that's the highest, we immediately know that's not going to be submarine because there is negative in front of 500 feet and we know that that's going to be the lowest object, okay? So then, now we just got to figure out if airplane is higher or if the bird's higher, okay? So, well, but we know that 10,000 is greater than 100, right? So, airplane is the highest object, and it is because 10,000 is greater than 100, okay? So that's it for number one. Try number two and three, two, three, and four on your own, and let's move on. So let's look at number one together, and we're asked to identify the sum in the expression x minus three over y plus six, okay? So whenever we see the word sum, we always think of plus, right? So it's kind of obvious that our sum is y plus, y plus six, okay? And um, the numerator is gonna be the difference. So x minus three, since there is a minus, that's gonna be the difference. So that's it for number one. Let's try number three together. Um, we're asked to find the value of the expression 2x plus 3 for x equals 2.5. So we got to substitute 2.5 for x. 2.5. Why is it doing this? Okay. So 2 and then 2.5 plus 3. So we know that 2.5 times 2, that's 5. And we add three, so that's going to be eight. Okay. So try the rest on your own, and let's move on to our third page. We're asked to solve for x in the expressions below, and let's look at number one. We have four plus x equals thirteen. So in order to solve for x, we got to isolate it, right? x has to be by itself, so we're going to subtract 4 on both sides. That cancels out, and so x equals 13 minus 4, which is 9. How about number 6? We have x plus 11 plus 3 equals 22. Again, when we're solving for x, it has to be by itself, so we're going to subtract 11 and 3 from both sides. That's going to be 14, right? So x equals 22 minus 14, which is 8. Okay? So, for the rest, go ahead and solve for x. And let's move on to our last page. So, word problems. And let's look at number one together. Uh, Mr. Jonathan creates 35 math quiz problems in five hours for the upcoming math pop quiz. How many questions does Mr. Jonathan create in three hours? Okay, so we know that he creates 35 questions in how many hours? Five hours, right? And we want to know how many questions he can create in three hours. Well, we're going to put an X there. Why? Because we don't know. And so now all we got to do is just cross multiply. So 35 times 3. That's going to be 105. And so we have 105 equals 5 times x, which is 5x. And we're going to divide both sides by 5. And x is equal... 21. So he can create 21 questions in three hours. Okay. 
So, um, let's actually look at number two together also. And, um, okay, so there are 72 apple trees in the orchard arranged in nine equal rows. How many apple trees are there in each row? Okay, so there is an orchard and there are nine equal rows. Three, right? And we want to know how many apple trees are there in each row. Okay, so that, like, there's an apple tree there. So, well, to figure out how many apple trees are there in each row, and if there's nine equal rows, and there are 72 apple trees, we know that we're, we're going to divide 72 by 9, right? And that is 8. So there are 8 apple trees um, in each row. So that's it. Just finish um, the last two questions. Just finish the worksheet. And then here is your answer key.